Hey everybody, this is Dave Dugdale, LearningDSLRVideo.com, and I was fortunate enough last weekend to shoot a behind-the-scenes video for Sterling Rice Group out of Boulder, Colorado for one of their upcoming commercial ad spots. It was great to see an entire team working together as I floated around them independently, trying to be quiet and not getting in their way. Um, I know these guys spend a lot of time away from their families, so I really wanted to represent what they love to do best, and that's being creative. So I really thank them for their, the opportunity, and I hope I represented them really well. Well, I can't show you my video yet because theirs is not done. Um, I can tell you about a few things that I've learned. Um, we shot at two locations, and it was a lot of fun watching them work together as a team, and they were kind of stressed out. They were... Uh, meeting deadlines throughout the day, which I guess is normal for a normal production. Um, but what was nice for me as I got to kick back and relax and float around them and, and wait for the good shots and wait for the things to unfold. What was really nice about being relaxed and watching them shoot a scene over and over again is I got to kind of sit back and try different exposures. And over the course of 10 hours, um, it was an all day shoot and I shot tons of clips. I really got to get to the point where I was calibrating my eye to what was coming off of the, the display. Because what I would do is I would take the, the card out occasionally, put it in my laptop, and just play it off the laptop um, monitor because I don't have an external monitor yet. So I could see how if I was getting the right exposure or not. I find metering outside, um, like putting your meter dead center, it, and I really trust it outside for landscapes and good lighting. But when you're shooting inside with talent, it's kind of a different thing because um, the camera comes with four metering modes for stills. Unfortunately, in video mode, you don't get the choice of four metering modes. You only have one, and that's evaluative metering. That might work well like outside in a landscape, but it definitely doesn't work well like inside, and you're trying to expose for the talent. So definitely don't trust the meter all the time. Um, it's definitely a good practice to keep trying it around and, and getting the exposure that you want. DSLRs don't allow a lot of leeway for getting the correct exposure. Um, I found that you can make you can move it just a third of a stop or one click on the dial, um, like a third of a stop, and you can turn really nice looking shadows into kind of muddy, blotchy shadows. Or even in some situations, you know, you have poor lighting, just a third of a stop can turn you know highlights on somebody's head or forehead or whatever um, into clipped highlights so you really kind of have to watch out getting the exposure just right in these cameras it's not like you're shooting raw and you have tons of latitude in post you really don't you got to get it right in camera for a lot of people that have followed my blog over the past year you know i've tried a lot of picture styles um, i kind of given up on the flat picture style Right now I'm using the neutral picture style with the contrast turned almost all the way down, one stop away from being all the way down, and the same thing with the sharpness, one stop almost all the way down. I keep the saturation right in the middle where it usually is. Um, I don't want to lose any color information. I don't want to bring it down because it's only, from my understanding, an 8-bit recording and I don't want to lose that color information. So when you're shooting for we got to remember when you're shooting a flat picture style, it makes it even harder to get the exposure right. So if you're a beginner, you might not want to start out using a flat picture style. So get out there and practice and with a lot of repetition getting the right exposure. And don't always trust the meter. I've got a lot of videos coming out. Um, I'm reviewing a circular polarizer, an ND filter, and also um, that behind the scenes video will be coming out. So definitely subscribe to my channel. And I'll talk to you guys later.